What's happening guys? Today we are covering 10 secret signs that she wants you. 10 signs verbally, body language wise, and the situations that you get into when you just meet a girl that you can just know whether or not you can skip certain phases of it and jump right to the bedroom, get sexual, sexually escalate, and have an awesome sex life. That's what we're covering today here on the TSL podcast. And as always, I am Steve Maeda, the founder of The Sexual Life, as well as Austin Men's Development. Guys, if this is your first time to this channel, this is an amazing episode. Give the whole video a watch if you like it. Be sure and subscribe and take advantage of all the different freebies that we include with it. And just before we get started, I want to encourage you guys, watch this whole video because at the very end, there's actually a component with all the different playlists we have on our YouTube channel and our free downloads that we'll tell you about so that you can get more involved so you can have a great, amazing sex life where you're always gonna be pleasing women and they're gonna be begging for you to come back for more. So let's get started. The first thing that we're gonna to get to is body language. Body language is the biggest tell and somebody's desire sexually, especially for women. So if you're talking to her for just 10 seconds, 20 seconds, even 30 a minute, and she does any of these things, you can know that you can skip the small talk, the chatter, the rapport, and start moving towards logistics to move to that bedroom. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna look at is that she gets closer to you. This is super important, and not enough guys think about this or take this into consideration. You can be talking to a girl, and let's say you do a simple technique like move a little bit closer and take a step back, and she steps closer to you, or likes being close to you, or holds that space close to you. Now it's different depending on the environment, but what just feels a little bit more than comfortable, so it starts to build that tension. This is one of the sure signs that I'll just be like, all right, skip it, forget report, forget the small talk, just good enough, whatever the situation allows for me to get to go to get her to either go on a date with me or to go home with her that night. The second thing that we're looking at that's super, super important, and it happens all the time without you knowing it, is looking at your lips. Is she looking at your lips when you talk? This, guys, if this ever happens, you're talking to a girl, you're having whatever conversation, and she just gives you that smiling look and watches your lips as you're talking, most of the time she'll lose track of what you say. Man, I would just cut everything, just say, I, you wouldn't even need to state intent, you wouldn't even need to do anything. I would figure out a way logistically to get her to my place or set up a date. And you can definitely, if you go to the free stuff link down below, you can find on the date guide how to do that. So. Tip number two is if she watches your lips move. The third thing when it comes down to reading a woman's body language to see if she's going to sleep with you that night or very shortly afterwards is if she steps in between your legs. So a lot of times when I'm talking to somebody, I'll just be talking like so, their shoulder width apart. And if she comes in between that with her legs, that's another one of those telltale cues where I will just cut the conversation. I'll do enough just to maintain the situation so that we can leave or we can set up a date where we're going to get sexual as quick as possible. This is one of those things that is just so emphatically a green light to me that I don't even worry about anything afterwards. Now the fourth body language cue is our bellies touching. So this happens all the time. Maybe you're dancing and a foot goes in between your legs and you can't read it right or whatever, but there's something going on. If you can hold belly to belly. Now a lot of guys don't think this because they think when it comes to sex, it matters about the crotch, which it does, or it matters about her breasts or her shoulders or her face or whatever. Man, there is something about getting a belly to belly touch. Now it's even better if it's a bare belly, but when we're in public, usually you don't walk around with a shirt off and unless she's wearing a top that exposes her belly, you can't get that, but that is huge. What you're gonna see when you hold a belly to belly touch with a woman for just like one and a half seconds, that's one 1,000, just that much, you'll see her state begin to change. If a girl allows you to hold that space, once again, cut everything to the bedroom. How do we get there? How do we set up a date so this can all happen? It's as easy as that. The fifth body language cue to know whether or not a woman wants you sexually is that she is watching you talk without interacting. So she may be watching you talk, almost like watching your, your lips move, uh, but she is not processing the conversation. She didn't hear something go by when you were talking to her. She got lost in looking at you or admiring your face or thinking about you in different ways or whatever it is that women go into when they get into that desire, that sexual desire part of her brain. That means you triggered it. And for all of these five body language cues, that's what that means, that you have triggered a part of her body, her mind, her physiology that is saying, wow, 
I could sleep with this guy. Let me think about this. Let me feel this through. And if she gets there, man, you can definitely do it if you take the right steps. The body language cues are literally the fastest, they're the quickest, and they're gonna happen very early on in a conversation, as early as one to two seconds, but more likely within the first two minutes, you are absolutely going to see one of these, or you're not. So let's get into the verbals. So for the verbal cues to know whether or not a woman wants to sleep with you, they're very, very simple. And they might be so simple that you might not notice them, but once you notice these, once again, guys, your game plan is how do I set up the date, how do I set up logistics, how do I leave with her tonight, or whatever it is, but how do we sleep together or get in a situation where that can happen the fastest? So the first one is, is that she starts asking questions about your personal life, especially if you haven't brought this up. Now, this is one of those things that sounds so simple, so, you know, common that it it just can't mean that she wants to sleep with you but really what we're talking about here and this all comes from guys who slept with a lot of women is that when we're talking to a girl we could just be talking about small talk the weather the hike we went on today with our dogs and she starts going like so wait a minute what so what do you do for a living and she starts to ask in those ways so there's a little bit of a tonality read or so did you just move here or why did you just move here and the more deep and personal those things are the, that means that that is coming from that part of her brain that is actually saying, hey, you know what? I kind of like this guy. Man, I wonder how he is. I, maybe he could be a guy that I date. I don't know. When she, her brain goes there, man, if we do the right things, we will end up in bed with her. And especially if we, if we uh, take part in our downloads that we have for you, man, you're going to have some amazing sex with her. The second verbal tell that shows a woman wants to sleep with you is that she is going to be suggesting to hang out. If she brings up the date, if she brings up, hey, well, do you want to hang out sometime? Now, I get it. It's so common. You guys might think this can't be possible. What if she just wants to have fun and so on? Look, guys, if she's thinking that, that's coming from a part of her brain that is going, maybe I could date this guy. And that part of her brain that's saying, maybe I could date this guy, is the green light for you to start taking action, taking initiative to lead her into the choice of seduction. There's plenty of videos on that if you're interested watch our sexual escalation playlist and uh, that will uh, tell you everything you need to do when it comes down to that now the third verbal tell to know whether or not a woman wants to sleep with you is going to be something that seems kind of counter to what you might think it's when she starts defining sexual boundaries if a girl starts bringing up in a conversation without you saying anything that oh i'm not a slut or i don't do this i don't sleep with guys on the first date uh, i'm not that kind of a girl or i date these guys in these ways or i've had certain types of relationships and i'm really careful about them man this is one of those things that shows me that her mind has switched into that mode of saying hey you know what Maybe I could sleep with this guy. Maybe, you know, maybe I could date this guy. Is he a good guy? Let me figure it out. And this is your cue to trigger you into those motions and, and mindsets and moves and actions that we have all laid out to you in our PDFs on sexual escalation. So definitely, definitely check those out. Now, let's get into our third phase of what we're gonna look at, our situations. So one of the easiest ways to tell if a girl wants to sleep with you or not is what situation she allows herself to get in with you or she initiates. So either of these two, man, green, green light for me to start moving into those actions and mindsets to escalate, get sexual, and all the different things we do to ensure that we have a great sexual experience with her. So the first one is going to be that she isolates you. So if you meet her, let's say at a coffee shop, at a bar, you, she meets you at work or whatever it is, but she initiates something like a mode of isolation. Well, why don't you come back to me with the to the office? Why don't you come back to me or with me? I'm sorry to the the cafe. I'm going to get something to eat. If you're at a bar and she says, "Well, come over here where it's quiet," this would again tell me that I need to start engaging in my path of escalation, that I need to start taking actions to get sexual, to build the right set of steps to get to the bedroom so we could have a great sexual experience. The second thing, which is absolute, that will absolutely 100% mean that she wants to sleep with you is if she agrees to go back to your place or take you to her place on a date. Guys, I can't tell you how many times this happens and even when it engages the part of the verbal tell which is bringing up sexual boundaries because usually she's like, let's go back to my place but I don't sleep with anybody on the first date or I don't sleep with guys that, or don't get the idea that you're gonna sleep with me or I don't do that and blah, 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 blah. If those things happen, man, Take the path of escalation that we map out for you. Watch the sexual escalation video series, the playlist that we have for you for free, and also check out the free stuff link where you can get basically all the material you need 
to know the sequence of how to have good sex, how to properly escalate, and how to be good in bed. So there's actually more here that I have to tell you, and it actually has to do with what else we offer. I talked about the sexual escalation playlist, but what you really wanna do is you wanna subscribe to this channel, and when you subscribe, click the bell. That will let you know whenever we produce a video that has to do with sex, escalation, dating, opening, talking to women, social anxiety, uh, anything that you can actually think of, even when it comes to total men's improvement. So that'll help you interact with us and get to know what we do because we're a super interactive company. Now also, we have a free stuff link down below where in that you can download our guides to the Primal Drive, that's free. You can also download our text messaging guide. You can download our Instant Connection course. It's a four part video course, super high quality that will show you how to meet and, and get sexual with women just through your dialogue. You can also download our Sexual Escalation Guide and there's literally 20 other uh, PDFs that we have for you that are all for free. So click that free stuff link and get to know us on that level because man, the sky is the limit. Your sex life is something that man should should never be questioned. You should never be having a sex life that you're wondering about and it should always be great. So that's what we're all about here at the TSL Podcast. I'm Steve Maeda signing off. Thank you guys so much for watching.